Um, pour me another. I'll pour you another one tomorrow. Why don't you head home, give that bar stool a rest from holding you up? Why don't you come over with me? Maybe I will. Come up with a better pickup line next time? Need me to call you a cab? <clears throat> nah, I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, this is James. Oh, my ass is calling. The house is in foreclosure. Her bank account was nearly empty. Uh, a funeral was going to cost it. There won't be a funeral. Well, a coffin is going to I see. You've thought this through. Uh, well, the, the will clearly states that anything left that she had goes directly to you in the event of her passing. <laughs> Lucky me. She did have a storage locker that she kept in a town a few hours north of here. It's mentioned in the will. Um, if she had anything of any value, you might find it there. Again, Mr. Erickson, I'm sorry for your loss. Yeah, me too. Sleep on the couch. Where'd you go this morning? Lawyers off. Let's take care of a few things. Baby, what's wrong? She's just dead. She died yesterday. A heart attack. I don't even know why I care. <laughs> she's never been around. She's never, she's never called. She's never called. <laughs> she loved you. You know, she's still your mom, even if you guys weren't close. Deacon need to go away for a couple of days. There's this mock her in some small town. That's all she had. Okay. You want to come with you? I should probably do this on my own. This one, okay. See you in a couple of days, okay? 
That is, if you can manage without me. Oh, I'll try. Mm. We'll see. Hmm. Hey. I love you. Me too. Can I uh, get a room for one or two nights, please? We have a few available. We charge 35 a night for one queen-size bed. That's fine. Uh, very good. Will that be cash or credit? Credit, please. Wouldn't even let me get settled in, huh? Shut up. How's the hotel? Super luxurious. Like always. To be honest with you, I have no idea what I'm doing here. It just seems like a waste of time. Why are you sure that? Well, Cause all there is is this box. Just, I just don't understand why mom would pay money for a locker just to keep a box in it. I don't know. From what you've told me about your mom, I wouldn't read into it too much. <laughs> Doesn't make sense, you know? Well, I'm gonna take a look through it, okay? I'll call you later. Well, if you don't call me first. <laughs> Love you. I know. Bye. Here we go. January 15th, 1939. Our expedition for the healing power of nature and the prospects of changing the world is near. I have dreamed of this day for what seems a lifetime. Got your nose stuck in that journal again, huh, Frankie? That should be the last of the beakers. Let's get that truck ready to go as well, then. Will do, Frankie. Everything's ready to go to the train station, sir. Anything else I can do? Uh, no thanks, Billy. This briefcase is the last thing left in here. Need to make a quick stop at home and pick up Margaret, say goodbye to the kids. She really wants to go on this trip. It'll be good for her to get out of the house for a while. I'll meet you and the others at the train station. Understood, sir. Hey, right, Billy. Do you uh, happen to have a light? I seem to have misplaced mine. 
Here you are, sir. Good thing you're coming on this trip, Billy. Now, you kids listen to your grandmother, you hear? Yes, Father. Yes, sir. Good. You'll have a swell time, I'm certain. We won't be gone more than two weeks. Make sure they get their schoolwork done. Of course, Frank. It'll be fun to spend time with the children. Oh, and make sure Donald picks up his toys. Sometimes he likes to leave them out when he's done playing. Are you children ready to lose it, Rummy? No, no. Way. Are you ready to go, Margaret? I am. This will be a much-needed vacation for us. Well, it'll be work as well, but it will be relaxing. Dr. Riley's original expedition. Let's set up camp and start searching for the Toxicodendron radicans. I'm certain it is close by. Say, what are you doing here? I don't think she can talk, Frankie. She must be a mute. She must have something to say. What do you want? You will leave. What? You will leave now. We are not leaving till we have found what we are looking for. Pipe down, Billy. Why do you want us to leave? You are not welcomed here. This place is sacred. We're not going to do anything to hurt this place. Don't worry. Heed my warning. What a loony. Why does she want us to leave, Frank? This land is sacred to them. We all need to remember that. Let's not do anything to upset her any further. You say so, boss. Let's finish setting up our camp. We have a lot of work to do. Give. will not upset the balance of earth and sky. I just found this arrowhead on the ground. Why does she care if I have it? Yeah, why don't you get lost? You will unleash death upon many generations by doing this. It's just an arrowhead. I'm going to keep it. Margaret, do you mind waking up Ernie? He seems to be sleeping in again. You know, you really need some more dependable workers. <gasps> the devil? It must have been a bear. There must be one living in nearby caves. It doesn't look like a bear. And there's no caves by here. Come on, Edith. What else could it have been? I don't know. Let's move our camp. Let's pack up. Edith! Dick! Take a look at this. I believe that this may be the plant we're looking for has all of the properties that were described by Dr. Riley in his original expedition. This is amazing. It sure is. This is the discovery of the year. How will he actually know if it's the plant without testing it? Ah. This small cut would normally take at least a day to heal.
Now we wait and see if it works. That's incredible. You said it, Dick. Let's see if we can find any more of this. Edith, I need you to stay and document the findings. Seem to have forgotten one of the trunks at the old campsite. Dick, can you go get it? Sure thing, Frankie. Yet? No. Don't know what could be taking him. Let's go see if he needs any help. He's gone. Now hold your horses. He must be around here somewhere. He wouldn't just leave. What's wrong? What's the matter? I think it's time to leave. This place is cursed. Let's go! What happened? Billy was attacked! Help him! What was it? Don't worry, dear. We're getting out of here. Tonight! Billy, what is that? I, I grabbed it when it attacked me. What are you doing? I'm going to go find out what this thing is. Who cares what it is? We need to kill it. I'm in charge here. You won't listen to me. I want to get out of here now. This place is evil. This is a bigger find than the plant. We have found an entire new species out here. Frank! It killed Dick. I know that. And if we don't study it more, his death will have been for nothing. bought the property that borders the land with what little money I had so no evil shall harm another innocent soul. I took it upon myself to pass on the story to the townspeople, to warn any who dare cross the boundary. I hope, in time, the land will be forgotten and the story will keep all the uncorrupted from venturing into the lair of Satan himself. Molly McKibben succumbs to her wounds as police still search for Thomas Parker. The boyfriend of Molly McKibben has been missing for weeks and is now reported as dead according to the sheriff's office. Thomas and I wanted to take a day to get away from town and do something a little crazy and fun. We decided to jump the fence line into the Erickson property. Scaredy cat. I don't know about this, Molly. If you were any more square, you'd have corners. Just help me. Come on. 
Water looks nice, Thomas. But I think it's too cold to swim in. I'm glad we came out here. I don't know why everybody talks bad about this place. Every town needs some kind of story. Scare the kids before bed. Guess. But what if the stories are true? I heard that a bunch of scientists came out here, were killed, and they were never heard of again. I think we know that for a fact if it was true. I mean, we even looked it up once, remember? Found nothing. Plus, if nobody survived, who would have told this story? <laughs> <laughs> who is a scared cat, man? Right? Buzz off. <laughs> You did use a little boy's room. I'll be right back. Well, hurry back. You don't want to keep me here all alone, do you? Oh no. I'll be right back. I'll be waiting. Thomas? 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 I wasn't scared anymore. I just needed to sleep. No matter how hard I fought my eyes from closing. Death haunts me once again as I have let another innocent soul be taken by the evil that slumbers within that sacred land. A note from the sheriff's office now sits upon my desk with the news. And even though I've done what I could, there's no stopping a force that can't be contained. I must do what I've dreaded for so long and take away that force that has burdened my family. An end shall be brought to light, whether it's mine or the devil's is yet to be known. Are you Jacob Harrison? Last time I looked at the phone bill, I was asking. I'm James, sir. James what? You like Sherry? You just got the one name. Uh, James Erickson. You knew my great grandfather, Frank Erickson. I found my great grandfather's journal. It was in a box full of papers, newspaper clippings, recordings. The newspapers, they talk about a series of killings. My great-grandfather says there may have been something else on that land. So what's your question? Since I'm assuming there is one at the end of this long-winded preamble. Your name was in the journal, along with two other names that were crossed out, but... Were you out there? Oops. 
when your great grandfather contacted me. I honestly thought we were hunting down a bear that killed those two kids down by the river. I'm guessing what's in that journal. Something that makes you question your grandfather's sanity. Thought so. Now your grandfather told me to never tell a soul. But I guess a secret can't keep forever, can it? If he wanted to keep what happened in 1961 a secret, then why tell everyone what happened in 1939? He told him everyone had died. No one should go onto that property. Now the story was true, but he didn't tell him everything. What happened out there? More than I want to remember. Wish I could forget. Those memories will haunt me till my dying day. Keep your eyes peeled, boys. Let's go. How big is this creature we're looking for? Sterks. Yeah. How big is this so-called creature? Big enough, kid. Just keep a lookout. Probably just a bear that got them kids. You believe this guy's story? What do I care? He's paying me enough to keep me in liquor for a year. We'll set up our camp here. We're not far from where those kids were killed. Hey, Jacob. I think we're wasting our time out here. Whatever it is we're looking for, whether it's a bear or Bigfoot, it doesn't much matter to me, the amount of money he's forking out. <laughs> that is funny. What is? Well, Lester basically said the same damn thing. Here we go. Hey. What in the hell is it? Leo's missing. And there's blood on his blankets. What? Morning, boys. Where the hell were you? Just drained the snake. Why? There's blood on your blankets. What Not happened? Yet. Cut my hand open this morning whittling on that stick. Well, stay next to camp next time, damn it. All right. Sorry. Lester! Stay together! Leo! Stay here!
What the hell was it? I don't know. The trail ends. Well, Where'd this thing go? It's, it just stops. This thing is different from what I remember. What do you mean? The creature has gotten faster. What, is it something else? It's changed. What's the plan? When you see it, kill it. That's a good plan. You see something? What is it? Stay still. You must not tell a soul what happened out here. This thing isn't obviously something that can be hunted or killed. What do I tell him then? Frank? the only one who knew what happened that day. Lester, Leo, your great-grandfather were labeled as missing. I was the only one that knew the truth. Until now, that is. So you never went back to the property? You never tried to figure out what it was that killed him? I was doing some research a few years later and found a old Native American story that might have some bearing on what this creature might be. What did it say? I could be one better. Thousands of innocent people. Didn't take long for his warriors to see the air of his ways. Like Caesar, he was soon surrounded by enemies within his rule. All turned against him, taking him prisoner and wrapping his body in an animal hide. They boiled him alive within the hide as the medicine man cursed his remains. Now they buried what was left within uh, the property you speak of. Couldn't find much else after that. And I take it the land he was buried on is the same land in Frank's journal. My land. It's just a story. You didn't believe in monsters either. Till 1961. Point taken.
property was purchased from the town of Solitude in 1884 by Frederick Helverson. He came to America with his three children and built a farmhouse there. With one exception, the property near Solitude, North Dakota. This 925 acres that my father purchased years ago is cut through the middle by the Solitude River. It now sits abandoned and is about seven miles out of town. I believe for the longest time that this land was haunted. I put off going there for years now. <laughs> but I think it's time to face it. Quit believing in superstition. <laughs> the disappearance of my father. I was raised mostly by my mother because of my father's obsession with this land. Clearly, he was a fool. And that's what led him to his death. Soon, this land will be an afterthought. I've been acquiring teams to survey the land and determine where the river homes should be built and how many. I count the days till I'm free of this land. Someone to see you, sir. I don't have any appointments today. They said it was urgent about the area on solitude. <sighs> Send him in. Can I help you? I urge you to not develop the land outside of solitude. I'm sorry, but who are you? I'm a native to those lands, and to the people who once inhabited them. You should not build there. Those lands are sacred to us. Hey, look, I, I appreciate that. I, I really do. But I own the land now. It's mine and I can do with it what I wish. I need you to leave. I have a lot of work to do. Please, reconsider this. Visit the land yourself. Spend a night there. I have no intention of spending a second there, let alone a night. Your father did. What do you know about my father? I know he visited the land twice and disturbed something he should not have. And what exactly is it that shouldn't be disturbed? Something your father knew all too well about. <laughs> My father was a fool in thinking he was protecting anything by acquiring that land. It will be developed. There's nothing on that land that I can't control. <laughs> Prove it. Visit the land. Stay the night. If you experience nothing, then develop it as you wish. All right. If I do, then you and your people will leave me alone. Agreed? Agreed. So, how did you know my father?
We've just arrived at the farmhouse, my father's land. It was abandoned in the early 20th century. It's clear that nobody's lived here since then. Even though I don't believe in the existence of whatever it is that people believe lives out here, it's comforting to know that my friends are here to keep me company. I thought about asking my wife to come out, but after what happened to my father, I thought it best she stay at home. Besides, Tiffany's too young to be out here. She needs someone to look after her. You're going to tell your whole life story on that thing. I just uh, find it easier than having to write it all down. I can express myself better this way. Our gear's all set up. I figured we'd take a look around. You want to come, down? Yeah, I think I'll stay here. Why don't you go and see what you can find? All right. We'll be back shortly. With that being said, this is an excellent location for new townhomes. And our state. Scott? This place isn't evil because of what my father thought. It's because he used it as an excuse to abandon my mother, my sister, and myself. What the hell are you doing here? I came to check on you. How do you like this place so far? It's fine. Good location for building. As soon as I tear down that old farmhouse. Is that still your plan? What? Did, did you think you're gonna change my mind? <laughs> Why did you want me to come out here? To see if you truly believe. Believe in what? What your father found. What did my father find? Salvation. <laughs> there was no salvation out here for him. There's certainly none for me. Well, there you are. Damn it, man. I wonder where you and Scott went off to. What? Scott wasn't with me. He's not in his room. You haven't seen him? No, I, I haven't seen him since yesterday. Maybe he's still out in the woods. Come on, let's go find him. Scott! Scott, where are you, man? Scott! He's gone! You don't know that! 
Look at all the blood! He's dead! Let's get out of here! Get what you need. We need it now. Charles! 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 This is Donald Erickson. Quite possibly the... the last tape I'll be able to make. I was wrong about everything. Father was right. Clearly, there's something that doesn't want anybody here. I don't know if anyone will ever be able to get a hold of this, but I strongly discourage them from ever coming out here. This place is hell. I just wish I'd realized the truth before it was too late. So how goes the search through the mysterious box? At this point, it's given me a lot more questions than answers, to be honest with you. Oh yeah? How so?
everything seems to be pointing to the property that my family's owned for the longest time. It's just... Just what? People have apparently been dying on this property for the past 100 years. But nobody knows what did it. Nobody... I don't know. You know, kind of starting to think that. Maybe my mom was keeping me at arm's length for a reason. Maybe she was trying to protect me. Why don't you just come home? There's there's nothing left for you there. I can't leave. I have to know. I'll call you, okay? I'll call you. I love you. family sure loves to keep track of their thoughts. The last few months of school are here. I never thought I'd see the day when I get to wear my cap and gown. My father has been gone for nine years. His disappearance from my life has made me who I am today, but I always wonder what life might have been like if he was still here. I headed out to my family's property with a few friends. Everything was perfect. The weather, the water, the feel of the cool breeze on my skin. But what I didn't know was how perfection can turn into something so flawed. Water looked too appealing to pass up. That's no excuse. Damn it, guys. Take that kissy shit to the tent. Don't need to be reminded I'm the fifth wheel. Well, get a girl, you wouldn't have that problem. Easier said than done. Wasn't hard for me. Yeah, with Tiffany, it wouldn't be. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Well, it's just the first time we met, we. Uh... You're such an ass. Oh, come on, babe. I'm just teasing. Hey, guys. We're going to take a quick dip, and then we'll be back to start the fire. Hey, why don't you take a bottle of booze with you? See if you can loosen Jill up a bit. <laughs> Shut up, Michael. We can't all be loose like some people here. Right, Tiffany? <laughs> You ever stop smoking? <laughs> Excellent. <clears throat> Be careful, man. No one's hooked it up. <laughs> so, when are you and Tommy gonna seal the deal? <laughs> I... Uh, I don't know. Well, what's the hold up? Guess I'm a bit nervous. I'm so nervous. Guys are pretty easy to please. Yeah, but... Well... Wait, don't tell me it's your first time. Have you ever done anything? Mostly just kiss. I just wanted to be with the right guy for my first time. The right guy doesn't matter. If you want my advice, just do it and get it over with. I just want my first time to be special. <sighs> no one's first time is special. It's mostly just awkward. Actually, it's all awkward. If you want my advice, just do it and get it over with. Why? Because after the first time, it just gets better from there. It does? Mm-hmm. Take Tommy, go in the woods, and have your way with him. <laughs> Hey, man. Oh. It's cool your family owns all this land, Tiff. Yeah, it's pretty much mine eventually. I've heard stories, though. Like, it's haunted and people have died. 
<laughs> yeah, but I wouldn't say it's haunted. Do you believe in that stuff? Not really. What about the people that died? Didn't your dad die? Hey. Yeah, it's okay. My mom said it was probably from an animal attack. Like a bear. Anyways, didn't I say I would make it up to you later? Something along those lines? Think so. I need to get laid. Hey. What was that? Uh, probably nothing. Come on. be any louder? Where are you going? Couldn't you just say you're going to the bathroom? I hate when girls say what they have to do. Well, there's no bathroom, just woods. Well, then say you're going to the woods. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind for next time. Too, babe. When I reached the road, a car stopped not long after. The people who found me on the edge of the property dropped me off at a hospital not far from town. I gave a statement to the sheriff's department, but my story was not believed. Only a nurse seemed to have believed my story, but she was someone I felt like I couldn't trust. She vanished from the hospital not long after she questioned me about what had happened. I can't get her face out of my mind. I had just got the news that I'm pregnant. I never knew the horrors that happened several months ago would emerge into something so beautiful. In my mind, I think I'm too young to have a child, but in my heart, it feels right. So you're my father, huh?
Oh, hi. You really worried me on the phone last night, so I thought I'd come up. What's wrong? Nothing right now. I'm just enjoying the view. Thank you so much. I don't know what to believe anymore. I mean, even my mother had an experience on that property. I'm starting to think she wasn't crazy at all. People just didn't want to listen to her. Apparently, it was conceived there, too. What? She always told me my dad died in a car accident. What do you mean? My dad died right on that property. I'm fine. Honey, you can't actually believe that there's a, a creature living on that land. I mean, it's, it's, it's insane to believe that. So I'm crazy? Like my mother? No. You had to claim it. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm going crazy. But I'm not crazy to believe what other people may have seen. What is it? It's a drawing my mother made. Come on. Where are we going? I've got an idea. I thought you said this guy was nice. Yeah, maybe uh, eccentric would have been a better word. Mm -hmm. What is it? Something important or you want to sell me something? Yeah, it's James, sir. James Erickson. We spoke yesterday. Sorry, I can't much see the difference between people and bushes anymore. Uh, I do see you my my candy with you, though. Help oh, me out. Get out here. So what is it I can do you for? Or is it you just wanted to experience my charming personality again? Um, I'm actually here for a favor. A favor, huh? You didn't tell this girly my story, did you? I did. She's my girlfriend. Kind of don't keep secrets from. Probably a good thing. So what's the favor? Do you remember what the monster looked like? Could you possibly draw a sketch for me? I, uh, seen him for maybe a second. Nah, I'm a terrible artist, but I'll do my best. No judgment here. I wouldn't care if you did. That's as good as it'll get. Gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. What you got there? Uh, my mother's diary. Let me take a look at that. Uh, I've seen this woman before. Where? 1961, just after your great-grandfather passed. When I walked out of those gates that day, I seen someone not 50 feet from the entrance. Thought I was seeing things. She said nothing to me. Just a blank stare with those lifeless eyes of hers. When I turned, she was gone. After you left yesterday, I went through a literature. Where is that? Yeah, here it is. Now, this takes place after his death. A young woman brought back the cursed chief. And she was his lover from another tribe. A lover that no one knew about at the time of his death. She sacrificed her own soul to bring him back. Does it say how the creature can be killed? I haven't come across anything like that. Well, I 
can tell you one thing. The magic that's been keeping this creature at bay for 400 years is about to come to an end. How do you know that? Here in the book. Now, I'm not going to read you the whole goddamn thing. You can have it. No, I don't need it anymore. Thanks, Jacob. Hey. Have you seen this? No, I haven't. Move up, Hydro Team. Make sure everyone stops shooting before you give me the single. <coughs> Rowing. Okay. Uh, hey, Peter. I just wanted to put this on video to apologize. Uh, <laughs> but there's no other choice. I didn't buy new tape, so I had to put this on the old ones that your toy movies are on. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so we're going to see something new. This is Jay. Right. Uh, how's yep. it going, man? Yo. Uh, what are you doing? Pack in. Right. Mm -hmm. right. cool. Okay, so in, she was at the Solitude River? Right, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Craig, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just filming a bit before we leave. Well, stop it. It's unnecessary. Why? Because it's a waste of tape. Jay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, just wait until we get to town. He's so weird, Craig. Okay. Yeah! What? Stalker! No! Stalker! We're on our way to see Tiffany Erickson. We'll see what happens. She's. She said she was the last. Survivor of this attack of some sort. Yeah, yeah, so her and a bunch of her like college friends or something went into the woods and were attacked by supposedly a bear, but it seems unlikely that a bear could do the kind of damage that she spoke of. Mm -hmm. uh, how'd you guys hear about her in the first place? Well, it was in all the newspapers and stuff, and we were researching for like another project in school and came across the article, so it seemed like it would be good material for a documentary. Not to mention, this type of thing is like really mysterious stuff. I mean, yeah, I think things have happened before. Yeah, this even happened. I mean, yeah, like there's a lot of rumors of things happening on the property like way before '86. So it's kind of creepy stuff, actually. Yeah. yeah. So we figured, like Tiffany, she doesn't live too far. Mm -hmm. So if we go see her first on our way there, maybe we can get some answers before we actually. And it could be, it's like all fenced off or something, and they like don't want anybody in there. It seems like they're hiding something. Seriously. I don't know. <laughs> okay, are you filming? Yeah. Craig, I don't think we need this. Okay, Why not? I, stop. I don't want to be. Should we really be talking with her about this? I mean, what makes you think she'll answer? It doesn't matter if she does or not. We have to at least try. And get out of the street. What are you doing here? Tiffany Erickson? Yeah, who the hell are you? I'm Jamie Lewis, and this is Mary, Jay, and Craig there on camera. Don't film me, I don't want to be on camera. Wait, wait, uh, we're doing a documentary on the Monster of Solitude, and we thought you could help us since you're the last survivor of the 1986 attack. Stay away from that place. It's cursed. Well, cursed how? Stay away from that place, and stay away from me. Well, we tried. Maybe we should listen to her. It doesn't sound like the river's the best place to be. And honestly, I like to keep my sanity. 
What do you mean? Were you not just filming that crazy ass lady? It doesn't matter if it's safe. We have to keep trying. We gotta find out what happened. There's been rumors of things happening way before the 86 attack. Didn't she get pregnant while she was there? It's fucking crazy. Yeah, so... Great, that's gonna be awesome right? for our documentary. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I'm all like, just, it's like, I don't know. It's just like, I think, this is what I'm thinking. I think it might be her family. Right. Since they own the property, I'm you know. I'm thinking we need to rethink this shit. What? Seriously, Jay, come on. I'm serious, Jay, all right? I'm, There's I'm, no fucking monster. Well, all I know is she is definitely hiding something. Mm -hmm. There's gotta be something out there. I guess, shit. Oh, come on, just Jay, drive the car, Jay. Way. You'll be fine. Come on, Jay. <laughs> Outside of the Erickson estate. It was purchased by Frank Erickson in 1942 and since then hasn't been used for anything. Attempts have been made to develop on the property, but tragic circumstances and perplexing occurrences has kept this property a barren wasteland of mystery. Frank Erickson was serious about no one entering this land and it is believed that this property is where he disappeared. In the next few days, we will try to uncover the mystery about why Frank Erickson wanted this land to be a secret. And if the stories about the monster of solitude are in fact true. You still rolling? <laughs> yeah. What are you guys looking for? How are we going to use the footage if you're talking? Sorry. The river. Oh. Okay. You got the river? Yeah. All right. We're here at the shore of the Solitude River. This is where the monster is said to dwell. Right now, we're looking for evidence of the creature's existence. Hey guys! I found something! What is it? Check this out. Ew. Someone out here knew how to have a good time. Give me that. It looks like it's been out here for a while. Huh, I wonder who it belonged to. I wonder if there's anything in it. Hey, Craig, no! Hey! We'll hold on to this. Anyway, we should find a place to set up camp for the night. Yeah. Wait, anyway, let's go. All right. I wonder what... Who do you think left it out here? I don't... I have no idea. Jeez, this looks like it's part of some sort of old fence or something. I wonder if... Here's the river shot you wanted, Mary. Jamie, always telling me what to do. Turn off the camera, Craig. I don't much fucking do. Huh. That's kinky. Huh. Oh, fucking nasty. This camera sucks. I can't even see anything in this freaking thing. Here. What are you doing? Oh. Well, that's better. Thanks, man. Yeah. All right. Let's do an interview with Mary. I'm not one to be in front of the camera. Oh, come on. What do you even want to know? Well, what do you think of the trip so far? It's interesting. 
Okay then, we'll interview time with Jay. All right, I'll do an interview, but I gotta pee real quick. Okay. Hey. Hey, what are you doing? I'm just doing some career interviews. All right. Well, I need to film something really quick, so follow me. All right, go ahead. We're here at night at the Solitude River. The name seems appropriate except for the grisly deaths that happened 13 years ago. Tomorrow we'll be investigating the actual location. <laughs> Jesus, what the fuck was that? Hey! God fucking Andy Mary, don't scare me like that. Well, what the fuck was that noise? Keep rolling, keep rolling. Shoot down here. Get back here, I broke my ankle. Uh, I'm sorry. I got you, bitch. That wasn't a bear. No way. That's the second item in this box my mother's collected without knowing how she's received it. How does she get all this evidence? She stole it. She what? Yeah, from the sheriff's office almost eight years ago. A fire burnt down nearly half of the sheriff's station in the early morning hours on Tuesday. Police suspect arson. How do you know this came from the... Read it. 1999 videotape. Case cold as of 2004. Case files in history linked to all deaths on Erickson property. My mom stole pretty much everything in this box. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think she realized the case was closed and kind of took over. You know, added her own evidence as she went. Go figure, huh? It's kind of funny. I mean, there's all this evidence and all these stories, but nobody's saying anything, nobody's asking any questions. Why would the sheriff's office keep this from people? James? Is there a full moon tonight? Um, I think so. Why? Do you believe fate has anything to do with why we're here? <laughs> why do you ask? Tonight is exactly 400 years since the birth of that thing. What? Look at the bottom of the picture. What are we gonna do? Trust me. I don't know what will happen. I do know if I don't try, or if I fail, then we walk the earth. Who knows how many countless others could die? Well, I'm with you. How the hell are you going to know when you found what you're looking for? Well, I think we'll know. As many warnings as there are about this place, you'd think people would stay away. Well, they would if there wasn't a 400-year-old woman with a monster for a husband out here. He kills to protect us. He kills to protect this land from people like you. And soon, we'll take back the land we once conquered. How do you expect to do that? Where did you get that? I had it. For how long? A while. If you value your lives, you will leave now. Run! I warned your family to stay off this land. I warned everyone to stay away, but no one listened.
James, oh my god. <sighs> Mind if I join the party? You people will never learn. He can't be killed. You talked too goddamn much. What the hell just happened? She sold her soul to bring him into this world, so I figured she's the way he came into it. She's got to be the way to take him out of it. Well, how did you find us? A girlfriend called me. Left me a message on my infernal machine. Why don't you get my number anyway? Phone book? Figures. I told those bastards to make me unlisted. Why'd you call him? Do you even have to ask that? <laughs> That was a clever move, but foolish. You're too late. You still believe you can destroy us? You are not of this land. Yeah, I am. What the hell was that? Hopefully the end of him. I don't understand, how did... She mentioned that only a person of this land could stop her. I technically am. I was conceived here. That's still really weird. It's okay. I'm starting to think my mother had this planned all along. Why do you think she never told you? No matter what she was going through, she's still trying to be a good mother. Come on, let's get out of here. James, first, I want to say that I am sorry. I was never there for you the way I wanted to be, and I know I can never make it up to you. I'm sure you found everything I left in the storage locker. I needed to find a way to kill the monster, and I had. You are the only one who can kill it. I thought this was a good thing, but it's not. If you kill the monster, you'll be forced to take its place. Never go near the property and stay off of that land. I love you.